no sabe lo que pasa. Lo que manda aquí la clave. Este ritmo guaguanco, que es todo lo que existe. Quita mi mi chamaco, nadie no resiste. Aunque estamos bravos, la chamaca es brava. Esta vida es brava, y yo también soy bravo. Por eso lo que repica son tus cueros. Saben lo que pasa. Yeah. Mi abuelita ahora tiene masa. Aquí lo que falta es el caos. En esta jungla soy el gran león. Armen las cosas en el malecón. Lo que gozamos es salsa y son. Ya saben lo que repica son los huevos. Tengo la clave, soy el suelo. Esta vida juego. Por eso quiero una vida suave, soy sincero. pura en toda su casa Calidad pura en toda su casa.
is funny and sometimes strange until I'm turns out the way you think but if you want some Toxic eres tú cuando me tratas mal y si que es cuando tú me traicionas con vaciles hermosa pero tú tienes como diez mil perfiles uno que me ames y otro que me olvide la tóxica eres tú cuando me tratas mal y si que es cuando tú me traicionas con vaciles hermosa pero Ahora te quiero olvidar con tiburones ya no sé nada Por eso ausente voy a estar No me mereces, no me mereces Con las trampa otras veces No es mucho lo que tú ofreces Ella sabe lo que yo le doy Ella es consciente de lo que pasa Ya ni me le arrimo, aquí estoy Siendo estrella busca tú en la NASA La tóxica eres tú Cuando me tratas mal y sigues Cuando tú me traicionas con vaciles Hermosa pero tú Tienes como diez mil perfiles Uno que me ames y otro que me olvide Quiere conocerme pero no Cree que me gusta con sexo en la habitación Pero lo sé todo Siempre vienes tarde con el dolor de cabeza No soy boba
What's going on? What's going on? Santal 26, one of my favorite candles. Welcome back. Get them up, get them up, get them up, get those likes up, people. In the chat room, you know how we do. Put your age, city, gender. 4, 3, 2, 1. Come on, let's get it. Tell them good lies. What? Yeah. The set of Tell them good lies. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm fine no matter what. Oh, yeah. Really? You can't have that. Always have a backup, people. Cause I know what I'm getting into. Nothing can stop me. Cause I'm addicted to what you and I realize. Here we go. How we doing? How we doing? How we doing? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to your favorite show <laughs> on Monday through Friday out here. We're still coming up with a name for the show. Until then, bear with us. We just call it the show. <sighs> Last week was 
incredible, you know. Uh, went viral on Wellstar Hip Hop. Had some guests come by. Some pretty cool things are happening, like I said, you know. Uh, you build an airplane while you're flying it, and I, I will say this. It's a good time to be having this conversation because, you know, as I start to look and see what's going around on YouTube, there's either one side of the conversation or the other. There's never a place where men and women are being heard from. Men and women are being heard from, especially men. So uh, as we get into this, do me a favor. Um, you might want, you need to check your notifications on the, on your, the notification bell. It needs to be completely solid. That means it needs to be completely solid gray. If you have it set to hollow gray or personalized, you'll get maybe 10% of the notifications, which means when I go live, you may or may not get it. So I've heard people asking about, well, I didn't get the notification. I didn't get this. I didn't get that. Well, that's a big part of it. But as we get into it, let's see what's going on. We've already had some people show up in Super Chat. I got five on the new else. Janice says, I love this channel. New subscriber showing my support to Mr. Samuels and his platform. Thank you. Shout out to Yaya, new member. Isaiah, hit squad in the building. Ike coming through with the big one as usual. The Ike bomb. Brown Hornet showing up. 22 New Jersey, female. Love this show, Councilor Murray. Uh, King Jahan, Brian Washington. Hey, you, Spidey C and DJ. All right, here's the topic, man. Let's just get on into it. Let's just go ahead and get on into it. Let's go ahead and get on to it. Unless you have been living under a rock, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to uh, miss some of the things that have been going on on the channel. Last week, we ended with a pretty, like, murderer's row. We talked about weight. And then Friday, we talked about single mothers, or in particular, baby mamas and high-value men. Basically, the qu question is, okay, ladies, I don't judge you for what you want. If you want a high-value man, you want to be able to you know, not have to work and that kind of thing. No problem. No problem. I don't judge why a person wants an outcome. I just work with a person to try to see how likely is the outcome. That's the job of an image consultant. Not to tell you what you want to hear to see what can make happen. See, when I work with men, a man can come in and be five foot eight, 210 pounds balding, and I can tell them, hey, man, custom is your friend. There are not a lot of things that are made to fit you off the rack. You know, a, a consultant, a good consultant starts with telling the truth, not what you want to hear. And I will say that even female matchmaker, femininity influencers, femininity coaches, etc., have gone on record saying that women Women don't like to hear the truth. Well, that's got to change because the truth is the same whether you hear it or not. And when it comes right down to it, if you want a high value man, and let's be real, we know what high value means. When women are talking about high value, it's not a mindset. To them, it's a lifestyle, a lifestyle in which they they don't necessarily have to work to pay significant bills to where the financial responsibility pressure to perform is on their man, their husband, to where the children are provided for and taken care of, to where their all their needs are met and then some. That's what women want and have always wanted. That's not special to black women or anything else. What is unique is what women are willing to do to get that. And see, what I want to talk about is what are women what are will what are women willing to do? What are women willing to do for a high value man? Ladies, what are you willing to do for your high value man? Huh? What are you willing to do? 
What are you willing to do? I said there are three F's that you need to do. Three most important things a woman must have in order to stand a chance of getting a high value man. And when I say getting a high value man, this is what I mean. Landing a high value husband. This is why I need to talk to black women. Black women, understand something. Having a someone have sex with you is not the goal. Being a high value side chick, girlfriend is not the, is not the way we keep score. We keep score by last names, names on legal documents, deeds, mortgages, uh, cars, bank accounts, insurance policies, health. Are you the, in case of, we keep score by one metric. Are you the contact in case of emergency? Write it down, folks. Are you the contact in case of emergency? If you come through here, putting a bunch of emojis, you will get timed out. Act like you got some sense. All right, here's the thing. I need you guys to understand something. Um, I need you guys to understand something. Uh, don't talk about other content creators in my chat room, okay? If you talk about other content creators in my chat room, moderators, if they bring up other content creators, time them out. This is not a place to start having conversations about other people's platforms. This is my platform. All right, so understand something. Where are you going? Do, 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 do. Subscribe and comment. You're going to get timed out because you're in here bugging. And I, actually, you know what? You just go bye-bye. I don't know who you are, and uh, that's enough. All right, three things women must do in order to even stand a chance of getting high value, man. Ladies, understand something. I'm like Hitch for you. That I used to, when I started my business, I called myself the hitch of fashion. I am the fashion whisperer. I basically take all the complex things about image, style, fashion, and fragrance and make it simple for the average everyday guy. Ladies, I'm like the high value man whisperer for you. I take all the things that these guys say they want. I know that they want behind the scenes and I make it accessible to you. The key is you got to be willing to do something. You got to be willing to do something. And there are three things you must here three things that you must do in order to stand a chance at landing a high value husband in case of emergency. See, girlfriends and side chicks and mistresses aren't the in case of emergency, okay? That's not what it is. That's what you want. You want the name on the deed. So the first thing you got to be willing to do is understand something. High value men call the shots. High value men call the shots in their world. And no matter how accomplished, how, how devastating, how incredible a woman is, it's still about the high value men. Let me show you something. Here we have Miss Olivia Pope. Miss Olivia Pope, the of the acclaimed TV show that women, black women in particular, would knock you in your head to get home to watch. Scandal. Where it's handled was her tagline. Miss Olivia Pope, the Washington insider, the fixer. The strong, powerful, independent, I don't need no man, take charge woman, such and so forth. And I call her Olivia Nope. Olivia Nope sold you ladies a bill of goods. See, Chandra Rhymes understood very well the psyche of a lot of modern women today. They want everything available to them, and they think the world is their oyster. See, the three things that you must have in order to have a shot at getting a high-value man, you can look at a lot of women and say, well, her and her, but did Olivia Pope get her ending? Did she get her dream? No, they had to give you an alternate ending just to satisfy the masses, but we know how this story ends. This story ends the same way it has always ends. First of all, you need to learn who to listen to. Ladies, I'm not begrudging anybody, but 
if you're going to get a high value man, a high value husband, you need to listen to people who know high value men. So you need to stop listening to liars, uh, men bashers, platforms that are telling you what you want to hear, but there are no men in the audience. You need to go to a place where men, high value men, congregate, listen to, or would approve of. Like Rebecca Lynn Pope said in her video, women's unrealistic dating standards, men don't speak like women. And if you're expecting men to speak like your girlfriends, you're going to always have your feelings hurt. See, that's what people over here get mixed, mixed about my platform. I speak about what men want and the women they want to deal with. The men that are willing to pay the cost to be the boss, they are not going to allow you to disrespect them because respect is mandatory and comes standard. They're not going to let you talk to them any old kind of way. They're not going to let you uh, emasculate them. No different than any other group of high value, successful men on any other part of the planet. Even if they don't have the money in the bank yet and the resume, if they have the character and the approval of the network of high value men. That's why hit squad is so important. See, at 40 years old, you can determine whether or not a man is worth high value. But at 21, you don't know. You got to ask the high value man, do we see potential in that guy? See, potential is a dirty word for you. It's not a it's not a dirty word for us. All right. Before we get into it, let's see if we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. Oh, we're not even halfway there. Look, man, we got to have a like percentage up over 50 percent. So since you all guys can't get the likes up, you know what we do. We go to the intermission for the hype song. Get the likes up. Let's go. Get my likes up. Come on, Olivia, dance. Work it, Olivia. Can I have my likes, please? Come on. If we don't get them up over 50%, we'll keep going. Run me my likes. Run them, run them, run them, run them likes. All right, we get back into it. Let's see if the, we can get me what I need. Give me what I need, I give you what you need. And yes, we're going to have a call line open. All right, three things that you got to have, ladies. If you want to be have the slightest chance at landing a high-value man. Now, see... What I need you guys to understand is here's where all the not all, not all, well, not necessarily. It doesn't necessarily have to be that way. It doesn't necessarily have to be that way. Uh-huh. Oh, let me tell you. The first thing is going to knock a lot of women out today. The first thing is going to knock a lot of women out today. And the first of the thing you need to have is, oh, for men, I talk about the three Fs, frames, fragrance, and footwear. The three ways of separating yourself, even when you're just casual, business, or upscale. Three things that are uniquely you. Ladies, here are your three Fs. If you want to have a shot 
at getting a high value man. The first thing you have to be is fit. Oh, if you don't fit, you won't get picked. Remember that whole thing? If the glove don't fit, you must have quit. If you don't, if you're not fit, you won't get picked. You won't get picked for in case of emergency. You won't get picked for, hey, will you marry me on one knee? You know, he won't drop. You will never see a ring about this size getting given to a, uh, a, a, an, a an unfit woman. The larger the ring, the smaller the woman. The smaller the woman, the larger the ring. You got to be fit if you want one of these. And see, that ticks a lot of women off. And here's the thing. Why? As it should. Fitness. 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 Fitness is one thing that you all can't control. Well, I've been fat my entire life. I've been overweight my entire life. Not an excuse. Not a reason. See, one thing you can look at Olivia Pope right there. That woman is fit. Let me give you an idea of what a fit diet looks like, ladies. Are you ready? Get your pens out. Your godfather's about to help you. Breakfast, one cup of egg whites, one grain, uh, one whole grain English muffin with PB fit. Two chicken breakfast sausages. That's your breakfast. First snack of the day, a cup of non-fat, a non, uh, one cup of non-fat plain yogurt, one third cup of roasted coconut granola with stevia. That's your snack. See, that already is half of your meal. That's your breakfast and your midday snack and your mid-morning snack. Uh-oh. Then you go ahead and work out. Post-workout meal. A smoothie with a cup of water, a cup of ice, a cup of kale, a handful of kale, a handful of spinach, some uh, chocolate whey powder, half a banana, and have a turkey burger patty. See, right now, I'm already listening to women talk about, oh, that don't sound good. Oh, where's the cheese and the biscuit and the bread and the, and the salt? And the, where's the fat, sugar, salt? The three things that hit the bliss point to make your brain light up like on drugs. Uh-oh. Then you get to lunch and you get a steam. And you get to lunch, you get a salmon spinach salad. That's right. You get five ounces of salmon two handfuls of spinach, and you drizzle it with sweet and saucy mango vinaigrette. Not ranch, not blue cheese, nothing thick and creamy. Already, women are cussing me out. Your midday snack, a, a protein shake, an apple, and a think thin bar. And then for your dinner, up, uh, if you worked out well, if you worked out well, this is what you get. You get a four ounce baked chicken breast, skinless, thank you. One half a sweet potato and a cup of asparagus. If you didn't work out well, you go ahead and get what my lean gets, a mango. That's your entire meal for life. That's your high value meal for life. So don't tell me I don't give you solutions. Don't tell me I don't point you in the right direction. I am level setting you on what fit women eat when they are working out four to five times a week to stay fit for their high value man. See, he has to stay high value. He can't tweak on his masculinity. He cannot lose on his resources. He has to stay competitive and so must you. Fit. Fit, fit, fit. Fit. You got to have a you have to have a fit body, a fit diet. Now, I would love to see the women in the chat room losing their freaking mind right now talking about what? What is a what is a Here's the thing. Here's a go. What in the heck is a chicken breakfast sausage? You mean a Chick-fil-A biscuit? <laughs> no, not a Chick-fil-A biscuit. Not a Chick-fil-A biscuit. A chicken breakfast sausage. What is a chick? What is a English muffin with PB fit? You mean like an egg McMuffin? No, not an egg McMuffin. An English muffin with PB fit. That's peanut butter fit. Yeah. What? What? What uh, what an egg white? You mean you mean a scrambled egg and cheese and bacon sandwich? No, no, no. Just a cup of egg whites. Not the yolk, the whites. What kind of voodoo witchcraft is he talking about? Yeah. That's why you are five foot four, 180 pounds. Goodbye. You know these women are not eating fit diets. And that's cool. Hey, here's the thing. It's fine. 
That is fine. But here's the thing. You don't get a high value man without the first F, fit, regardless of your race. Because I've heard you're so mean to this group of women, that group of women. I don't care. You got to be fit for high value. You got to be fit for high value. We're going to come back right into it. We're going to be fit. We're going to come right back to it. Got the first F. We got the first F. We got the first F, ladies. We got the first F. Okay. And understand something. I'm going to point you in the direction of people who can help you get this done. But we got to get this fitness together. Even if you don't want a high value man, let's say you want a man that's not broke, but solidly middle class, you know, even just the, you know, he's not a Henry, but he's between middle class and Henry. You want a guy making around 75 to $90,000 a year. That guy, all men want fit women. The only men that don't want fit women are broke men. Again, fit. I had a woman on my channel last week say that she's even having trouble getting her ladies to understand the importance of fitness. And here's the thing. High value men really don't care if you're fit for him or if you're fit for you. He just cares that you're fit and you stay that way. And this is what it is. You got to be this way for your entire life. Even after those three children, I can show a, a, a sister right now on YouTube who has four children and a thriving acting career, and she doesn't look like she ever had a child. So knock off the BS. I didn't. I, we're gonna get more into this fitness. Without the fit, again, I heard women talk about it. I'm high value and I date. Uh, I, I'm 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 overweight and I date high value men. Doesn't count. Only counts if you're in case of emergency. If he is not talking about marrying you. In six months or under, you're just a doofer. You'll do for now. The next thing you must have in order to be a fighting chance at getting a high value man. You, in order to have a fighting chance, you have to be feminine. You got to be feminine. And whatever type of femininity is your dominant, whether it's the, what is it, the, uh, what, what did she say? The Madonna, the, uh, the Amazon, the mother, uh, or the, con I don't want to say concubine, but uh, the seductress. You got to have it. You have to have it. You have to have your version of whatever it is, and it has to be their standard. And it's not just, I'll be feminine for him after. Nope, it's standard. You have to be feminine at all times. So you got a lot of women going around today saying, I'll be, I'll submit to the right man. I'll be feminine to the right man. And that's not how this is played. High value men are always observing women in his around him. And he's always looking and they're looking for masculine behavior from you. High value men are looking for reasons to disqualify you. High value men are better at disqualifying women than women are at disqualifying men. Let me say that again. High value men are better at disqualifying women than women are disqualifying men because high value men have a lot to risk. Not only their personal resources, they also have to risk, depending upon what they do for a living, either the company they work for or the business they own. High value men tend to be responsible for dozens, hundreds, thousands of people. Look up a key man insurance policy. If you own a business as a high value man and you employ 20 people, your home life directly impacts 20 other families. The woman a high value man is going to bring into that world has to be able to handle the responsibility of this nuclear family and then the, tw the 20 other families. There are 20 employees, so that's 20 families. So let's say each employee is married with uh, two children. Let's say every employee is married with two children. So you have 20 people. So double that. 
That's 40 people. Then you have to put another 40 people in for the kids. That means this high value man's business is covering 80 people. 80 people and what those 80 people buy, consume, do, interact with. That's how serious this is. In my group, somebody asked, what's the first word that comes to your mind when you think of marriage? And I saw lots of interesting answers. My, my, what comes to my mind is opportunity. Marriage is an opportunity. It can be an opportunity for greatness or destruction. A marriage can be an opportunity. If you marry well, you can have great upside opportunities. If you marry poorly, you can stagnate or even destroy yourself. Femininity, feminine, feminine is a requirement. So you got to have the fit part. Then you have to have the feminine part. And the femininity is standard. It is, it is there. And then the last part, are you ready? Are you ready for the last part? The last part. The last F you must have to be considered to have a shot at high value men is you must be friendly. That smile on your face must be there in the morning, afternoon and evening. It must be permanent. It has to be genuine. It has to be authentic. It has to be loving. It has to be caring. You must be feminine and friendly. You have to be an oasis in the world that is crap. You must be inviting, warm and loving. That's the whole beauty of the first wife, the first lady. The first lady is the symbol of the symbol of womanhood for the country. And throughout history, the first lady has been fit, feminine and friendly. Fit, feminine, friendly. You'd be hard pressed to find a first lady in the in especially in the media age. Now see if you go back to before the time where we had uh radio back in the day before when we still were doing radio, you know, we didn't have visual mediums. When we start having visual mediums, John Fitzgerald Kennedy has be as they have become the standard for president family. Yes, you can find presidents like William H. Taft who were 300 plus pounds, but that's back before we had TV. Now the president must be a certain height, a certain look. He must have a woman. He has, he's always had to be married. 35 natural born citizen married. Those are the requirements. Those are some of the requirements. 35 or older natural born citizen married. And the wife must be feminine, fit, and friendly. You're not going to see a body positive first lady. Not going to happen. Not as a symbol for the United States of America. No, you won't. And see, understand something. The election of Donald J. Trump shows a lot of black women what other women will do when it's when the chips are down. See, other races of women know to line up behind their men. Donald J. Trump was a successful man. Like him or not, he has he's become successful. And he's walking around talking about when you're a high value man, you can grab him by the hoo-ha. And what happened? Even some women voted him in, in, in in droves because they said, I would rather have that man leading our country than having that woman representing our country's need on needs on the world stage. Hillary Rodham Clinton was the, one of the most qualified people we have ever had run for president. And she lost to one of the most unqualified people. It's because he was a man's man, a businessman, and he had that image. And his wife, fit, feminine, and she has that uh, friendly, she has the friendly demeanor uh, around when she's not behind the president. But she plays her role well. See, my guess is Miss Trump knows 
she can't hold uh, what she really feels uh, in person. So they keep her handled. But uh, Michelle was out in front. The United States does not want a first lady like Michelle Obama. Nor do they want a president like Barack. We prefer the Camelot situation. The Kennedy striking figure, Chanel attired wife, beautiful, well-mannered children. We want the picture, the fantasy. Guess it. But here's the thing. Ladies, you want the lifestyle. You want the picture, the fantasy. Well, are you giving the man who creates the fantasy and can afford your and can afford your picture? Are you giving him what he wants? Are you giving him what he wants? You said, really, Kevin? And what do y'all? Yeah, I mean, really, what are you acting like? See, this is one thing I'll say in particular with black folks. We act like we don't see what's going on. And act like you can't like two plus two is not four in our world. High value men, especially the, the ones that are already there. See, in order to get uh, become a high value man's wife. You need to get him early on and ride with him through the tough years. But most women today don't want no build a boo. A build of this, a deal of that. You want to secure the bag and get the bag. Well, understand something. That's cool. You better be a, a solid eight, nine, or ten with your body. Your body has to be an eight, nine, or ten. And then your looks, you have to be at least an adjustable six who walks around as an eight. See, and that's why I got the adjustable six. You could choose to walk around as cute or go to pretty. But most high value men want pretty, beautiful, or gorgeous women with great bodies. Who are feminine, feminine and friendly. That's why you have all these femininity. That's why you have so many femininity influencers, femininity coaches. Affluence this and elegant that and marry this high value this and ladies over here and elegant. Hey, man, I trust me. This is my world. And I will tell you the men who can afford to pay the cost to be the boss co-sign it 100 percent. But what do they pick? What do they pick? Now, some women will have a problem because I have Olivia Pope here. Olivia Pope was what? She was fit. Was she friendly? Nah. Was she feminine? Nah. And in a non-Hollywood world, she would have never, ever gotten anything other than a quickie with men in the halls of power. Ever. Shonda Rhimes, to her credit, gave you the I am woman, hear me roar, where she gets to take charge and win everything else. But that's not how the world works. It's not how the world works, not how the world works. So let, here's the thing. If you think I'm right, if you think I'm wrong or don't know what I'm talking about, um, let's talk about it. Because as I've seen or as I've heard, there have been plenty of women who seem to think, oh, you're just off. You're just wrong. That's not true. It's about a woman's character and about, yeah, mm -hmm, after, all right, here's what we're going to do. Here is what we're going to do. We're going to see. We're going to see what it's about. We're going to see what it's about because, uh, yeah. Luna. Money work. You know, you know what? I want to do it this way. Many women seem to think, oh, well, you know, you're being short-sighted. And that's shallow. Okay. It's short-sighted and it's shallow. But is it what men want? Are you willing to give the men what they want? Or are you trying to get men to accept what you think they should have? That's the difference. 
Far too many women are trying to get men to accept what they think they should have instead of what men want. And it's just not going to happen. All right, we're going to get into this. I got something else to do. We'll do her later. All right, here we go. Call line will be open in just a second. Money work. chat room if you at me that highlights me I will block you get them donations up run me my donations and that what Omar said run them donations Run him! Tierra. Tierra be out here money world in it, boy. So, here's what I want to hear from the ladies. If you think I don't know what I'm talking about, if you think I'm wrong, what are some of the things that you feel like you should have to do? Or what would you be willing to do? Because I asked the question, what should a woman have to do to get a high value man, a high value husband? And there were complaints about that. I said, okay, then what should a woman be willing to do to get a high value man? I there were complaints about that. I said, all right, what about weight? Oh, you got to compl- I said, high value men don't want, don't want overweight women. There were complaints about that. I said, high value men don't want women with children and women lost their mind. Oh, we're going to have part two and three to that because that is a big problem. Ladies, if you have children, you have to know you put yourself in a difficult position. What should you have to do? Um, here's what's going to go on. I need your name in the chat. I need your name in the um, in the uh, in the waiting room. If I don't see your name, that makes sense. 
You're not going to get on. Ladies only. I don't really want to hear from the men. Because let me tell you why I don't want to hear from the men right now. Because there are many men out here who will call themselves high value. But then when I start asking the questions, you don't have the money or resources that women want or think of as high value. And I understand that you may not like that, but that is the truth. You cannot be a guy who ain't worked in a year and a half or you can't be 20 years old talking about sexual transmutation. Women are not here trying to hear that. And neither am I, honestly. You're not you're not really qualified to talk about it. Unmute yourself, please. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? I can. And your first name is? Yaya. Y Yaya. Yes. Your your name your real name is Yaya. <laughs> no, it's Ayana. Okay. Uh, how old are you? I'm 25. 25. Uh, so, what do you have on the subject? I said, what are women willing to do to get a high value husband? What are, what are, do you want a high value husband? Yes, a hundred percent. And I completely agree with you. Okay. Um, I work out. Three days a week, religiously. Three days? Hike on the weekends. Three days? Well, I strength train and do hit three days a week, but on the weekends I hike. I live in Arizona, so okay. that's kind of what we do recreationally. Okay. Um, um, so do you I'm have, do you, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you have an IG or something on the internet? Uh, IG? Yeah. Yeah. Because I can't see you. And um, I, for some Should I reason, put it in the chat? Uh, you can, I'll, 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 yeah, let me see this. I'll do this. Um, put it in the chat to me individually because I have women who will call here and um, lie. Lie about um, themselves and their bodies and everything else. And I just like I don't want men lying to men, lying to men, I don't want women lying to women. So go ahead. Um, 100%. So you were saying? Um, You're 25 yeah, and you want a high value man. Yes, I deserve a high value you man. You deserve a high value man. Oh, okay. Yes. Why? Why do you deserve because, a high value man? Because I'm a high value woman and I know how to support. I know how <clears throat> to be affectionate. I know how to be loving, kind. Okay. Um, so so let me, let me my, ask you, let me ask you some yeah. questions. Were you raised with mom and dad? Yes. Uh, was dad married to your mother? Yes. How many, how many siblings do you have? I have two older brothers. Two older brothers. Um, what's the longest relationship you've ever had? A year and a half. How long ago was that? A year and a half ago. So a year and a half because you were 22 and you had a relationship for a year and a half. How was the, how old yes. was the guy? He was 25. Okay. And why didn't you guys get married? Um, well, he was already married. Hold on. Um, shout out to Dre. Uh, he was already married, you say? Yes, I didn't know that while we were dating. Okay. I found that that's why we broke up. Uh, James Evans. Uh, what, what do you mean you didn't know that and that's why you broke up? Yeah, I didn't know that he was married. Really? When I found you never out went to his house? Married. Uh, no, I actually lived with him for three months. <laughs> so this story doesn't make any sense, but I'm willing to listen. How can a man so be was, married? Was was, mm -hmm. was where's his wife? So he lived in San Diego, and his wife lived in D.C. They have any children? No children. And is he still married? No. Okay, you broke up because he was married. Yes. But he's not still married. No. Why aren't y'all married? Well, <laughs> I broke up with him because At 23 he's years and old. Because, and At 23 and a half, or almost people. 24, right? Yes. Okay, so you broke up with him because you found out he was married after you had been living with him and kicking him for 18 months and you didn't do your homework. Okay. But then after, but you broke up with him. Why? Because I knew that it's not hard for me to find high quality men. Really, I, I didn't. I didn't really? feel like I needed him. I really, didn't feel like hold on, hold on, hold on. I had to be. Hold on, him. hold on. I'm curious. If it's not hard for you to find high value men, 
then why would somebody is is like yourself waste a year and a half on somebody like this? Well, that was the point. After a year and a half, I I chopped him off, right? But so, a year and a half of a year and a mm-hmm. half when you only have twelve years is a long time. See what you're saying is you deserve a high value man, and you deserve him mm-hmm. because you are a high value woman. But high value women yes. who really get high value men tend to secure them early and they don't waste time. I'm hearing lots of red flags. One, you're involved with a married man for a year and a half. And what I'm asking you is after you broke off with him, he's no longer married, but now you're saying you don't feel like you need him. Mm-hmm. What do you do for a living? No, I'm a civil engineer. Civil engineer. What did he do for a living? Mm-hmm. He was in the military. I don't know what that means. I said, what does he do for the living? Oh, um, he was a, he was also an engineer. Do you he earn more than he engineer. does? Yes. That's what I thought. So that's why I didn't But hold on, sweetheart. So hold on, sweetheart. Hold on, hold on, sweetheart. You you were graduated from college at what your age? Um, I was twenty four. What age did you go to college? Yes. Um <laughs> I went to college at seventeen and you went to school for seven overseas. years? No. I went to college at 17. You went to college at 17 and graduated from the 24. We're both math engineers. That's seven years. The right, math has never right, changed in seven years. Right. But I didn't I didn't stay in college why not? for like seven years. I took time off why? and then went back why? to college. Why? Because while I was in <laughs> while I was in school, I studied abroad in Italy. And while I was in Italy, I got a job offer to work and stay in Italy. So instead of coming back to the States to finish my degree, I stayed in Italy for two years. Uh-huh. To teach. So you rode the, the Italian CC. So here's the thing. Uh, you live in uh, Arizona, right? Yes. Uh, and you're 20, what, 24? 25. 25. So in the last year and a half, how many high value men have proposed to you? Zero. What part of Arizona? Phoenix. It's in one of the hottest, one of the best cities for high value men. The way you're telling this story, ma'am, is you're all that and you're entitled to a high value man. You got no problem finding one. Then why aren't they, why aren't they trying to wife you? That's why I'm calling in right now. <laughs> well, why? Okay, well, answer, answer the um, question because the way you're telling it, you're the shit. Yeah. Well, I don't... That's the way you're telling the story. You're is, the shit. I don't want to sound arrogant. You um, shouldn't. But I don't think the issue is them not... Ch- like, I haven't been proposed to, but I've been chosen. Like, I... Okay, that's nice. What would you rank options, yourself... What would you rank yourself but, on... What would you rank yourself on a look scale... A look skill, one to ten, and you cannot use seven. Eight. You rank yourself up there with Beyonce. Oh, Beyonce is an eight? Okay, I can't use seven? Okay, then I would say 6.5. I don't allow women to use 6.5. <laughs> I can't use 6.5. I can't use seven. So six? <laughs> but I'm more concerned. See, ma'am. Your own results of your life tell you you're not what you say you are. You came in here talking about, I want a high value man because I deserve a high value man because I'm a high value woman. I asked you about your, your relationships and you were a side chick. That's what it is. You're a mistress. A man that is married uh, has a woman on the side. You're a mistress. And you, st- hold on, ma'am. Little- I need you to, you, you need to listen. You were a mistress in the social media digital age where all it would take was a quick Google search. Did you ask him whether or not he was married when you met him? Yes. Did you did you confirm that he wasn't? And in a year and a half, he lied to you. It was a contract marriage. Then stop acting like you. Okay, now you're lying. I don't like lying women. Okay, I'm gonna give you a chance. But don't lie to me, lady. You came in here and said you broke up with him because you found out he was married. Correct. But that's not why you broke up with him because it's a contract marriage. You know it wasn't something. Then that's not the reason. It's because he lied. No, you're lying. About being married. Okay. Did it, you asked him, was he married? I asked you, did you ask him, was he married? 
up front, you said no. How'd you find out he was married? Um, well, I treated him. I got a bunch How'd you find out he was married? Him. I don't need all the, I don't just give me the story. Like, I'm going to get to it anyway. His message popped up on his phone. Uh -huh. his With his phone contract wife who's in D.C. Ready. With his contract yes. wife in D.C. And then no, 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 no. No, it was it was a completely different girl. All right. So, ma'am, how about this? Are you saying he didn't love the woman? It was a contract marriage? Yes. Okay, then it shouldn't really have been a big issue. You shouldn't have to, shouldn't have been that big a deal. He should have been like, no, he, he, should have been, he should have been able to end that marriage and go on and marry you. But the net net of it, ma'am, is you graduated from college and you all of a sudden thought you were better than him. That's really what happened. You were in college and he was making more money than you because you weren't making shit in college. When you graduated, your little hot tail thought you were better and thought you could do better. And that's cool. But the thing is, ma'am, you're not an eight. You're five. And you're average looking, average cute. That's not bad. Average cute. And you cannot get what you say you deserve. You don't deserve a high value man. That's the problem with so many black women. Y'all think y'all deserve something. Can you tell me why? why? First of all, your attitude is all wrong. You walk around acting like high value men should, should come finding you. Why would a high value man want you? Because they exist in Tucson and Phoenix like a mother. Scottsdale, full of high value men. Why do you say you 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 deserve one? Are you asking? Yeah. Me? Why do you say you deserve one? Oh, because I have all three F's because I have no children. And, because and okay, let me give you, let me, let me give you something else, ma'am. Just because you have, so does, so does every other woman looking for a high value. So do most women ha looking for a high value man. Because I make money. So Who gives it? High value men don't care somebody. about your, high value men don't right, care about I your know. money. See, I know. I know. That's what I'm saying. All right. I All right. High value men don't care about your money. Ma'am, you, ma'am, I mean, let me back it down. High value men don't care about your money. You have overvalued yourself <laughs> based upon your academic experience, your European experience, but the net net of it, high value men don't approach you for marriage. That is a, there's a reason, ma'am. Can you accept it? The best you have been is a side chick, a mistress. Can you accept that is the reality of what you are on the market? And then act accordingly, because I would assume that there are probably many men on your level that you think you're better than. On my level that I think I'm better Yes, than. because we don't take your money into consideration. We just look at your looks. Your looks. Yes, I'm looking at you here and you're not an unattractive woman, but you're not, you know, an eight. But a guy in your range might be a, a uh, own his own truck and drive a truck or maybe a, a plumber, HVAC technician. He may be working, he may be a blue collar guy as a plumber earning $90,000 or 80,000, 75 to $80,000 a year. But you want a man doing what? Well, this is, this is the thing. I don't have an issue. Oh, Delta Sigma Theta. Men. I should have known. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just joking. Go ahead. So can you, Go ahead. you I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Stop, stick and don't get mad at me. I'm just, I'm just joking. But seriously, I'm, try, I'm trying to help you. I'm really, what I'm trying to really help you is. Yeah. Sadly, so many of our young sisters overshoot their market. You really are overshooting your market. And you're taking into consideration things that you think should matter to men. And the things that matter to the kind of men. Do you want to have any children? Yes. How many? Two. Do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant? No. And do you want to live in Phoenix or would you like to live somewhere else? Somewhere else. What, like where? Um, like D.C., 
D.C. So a man yes. to be able to afford to take care of a wife and two kids in D.C. is going to need to make what for the kind of lifestyle you're accustomed to or want to live? 300. Shit, not, not in D.C., baby. Not in D.C. Keep going. A million. See, the thing is, I'm asking you and you don't even know. See, the point I'm getting to, ladies, is you just say, I want these things like men are genies and you just rub a vase and this shit pops out. You don't know how much a man needs to make to make. But but here's the thing. What's the cost of living in D.C.? I'm not sure. Oh, OK. But you think a, a person should. Huh. No, this is what I think. Uh -huh. This is yeah. this is my whole Right. Bottom line. Right. The bottom line is if I have put a certain amount of effort into what to, into my fitness, into my looks, into and that's my in your body. Emotional. Okay, that's your body. Okay. Health, you you are fit. Into okay, listen, ma'am. You're fit. How tall are you? Five two. Dress size. Two. You're fit. What gym do you work at? Do you work out at the gym or do you work out at home? Since Arizona's closed down, I work at home. But I but but home, if you ever right, but if you're at a gym, there are plenty of five foot two women there who are fit. Some are as fit, some are more fit than you. Right. Okay. Listen. Fun, listen. So that does that mean that that's enough? Fit women at five foot two. That's just the entry. Mm -hmm. You. What high value men have you ever been around? That you okay? What history do you have of cooperating or serving a high value man? There you go. You know nothing about high value men, so you think a man should buy you, and you don't even fit him. You don't even know how much a man in, in D.C. A guy's going to have to make close to five hundred thousand okay. dollars a year. I got to move on to the next call. You don't know, and I'm just trying to help you. What, look, lady. <laughs> You didn't let me speak. Because I don't need to hear okay. what a 24-year-old woman who doesn't know what she's talking about thinks. I understand. But you didn't let me expound on my position. There's no need to let you expound on your position. Finished. You're average looking. You know, she's cute. I'm not going to say she's average. She's cute. She's cute and she's fit. But that's it. It's that I graduated and I went to Italy. So I think I should have a man making half a million dollars. And so I don't have to work in D.C. No, nope, it takes more than that. Hello. Kevin, how are you? I am well. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. My name is Crystal. I am a new sub and I am calling from the Bahamas. The guys, they uh, suggested I call. The Bahamas? Yes, I live in Nassau. Okay. Yeah, so I wanted to... Um, Hold on, just a, just a second, Crystal, just a second. Uh, Ma'am, for the previous caller... Um, Housing is 240% more expensive in D.C. So if you made a dollar in Dallas or Phoenix, you'd have to make $2.40 to translate that to D.C. So a man making three, 250 300 because you're a civil engineer in Dallas or Phoenix would have to make a half a million or more. Are you a half a million dollar or more chick? And she thinks she is, but... Nope. Go ahead. You're in the Bahamas. Um, is this your picture? Yes. yes, it is. And what did I get wrong about the subject? I think you got everything right. I just wanted to add to what you said, basically from my standpoint and what I have to offer. Um, because your question is, what are willing women willing to do? So the first thing I feel like a lot of women need to do is to be able to pray for a high value man. You say pray? Like, yeah, pray. Pray? Because like pray, like pray or praise? No, P-R-A-Y. -P -P 
Okay. Because a lot of times we try to go for things or strive for things that, you know, may not be in God's plan for us. How old are you? How old are you? I'm 36. Am I on, spe- am I on speakerphone? Um, yeah, because I am using my cell phone to Zoom. Okay, but you can take me off speakerphone because there's a delay. Oh, okay. How do I do this? Just set it off of, uh, just put it on iPhone instead of speaker. You're 37? She muted herself accidentally. You need to unmute yourself. Hello? I am so sorry. That's okay. Um, you th- Kevin, I don't know how to do this. All right, all right. Well, here's the... Phone, so oh, okay, what kind of phone do you have? Like, what kind of have... Phone? You can't hear me. What kind of phone do okay, you have? Now I can hear What you. kind of phone do you have? Okay, can you hear me now? What kind of phone do you have? I am using a Samsung. All right. There should be a speaker in the left corner that says... Tap it once and it should allow you to go to speaker or just whatever the phone you have. Because the problem we have is when I start talking, you can't hear me when you start talking. Okay, so I just tapped the speaker and it's not, it doesn't have you on speaker anymore. It still does, but we'll keep moving. You're 37? 36. Any children? Yeah, so. Any children? Yes, I do. Actually, I do. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Have you been married? Yes, widowed. Was your husband a high value man? Um, not financially. Then he was not a high value man. That's not a. It's no. not a state. Okay, ma'am. So what do? You, and the reason I'm asking because how how what ages are your children? Twenty and uh, fifteen. Twenty and fifteen. When I hear black women calling in talking about you need to pray for a man. No. And I'm a Christian. Been one since Mm -hmm. five years old. Marriage is a natural choice. God has nothing to do with who you select or who selects you. That is one of the worst things. We keep telling black women to pray for a man. If you watch my channel on Christian, I have a video on Christian feminism. It's one of my most watched videos. We have too many black women sitting in a passive position waiting on the Lord to deliver them Boaz. No, ma'am. Okay, got you. So that that was one. And the reason why I said that is not from dealing, like staying in a passive point. It's basically praying for the right type of individual to come into your life. Why don't you, let me just stop you right there. Why don't you, instead Mm -hmm. of of saying that, why don't you... is it your position to lead or is it a man's position to lead? It's his position. To so lead. if you're having a Christian man telling you who actually, ma'am, you're wrong. And you're still trying to say it like it's right. Like, well, that's your opinion, Kevin. It's not my opinion. There's nothing in the Bible that said God is going to direct you to a spouse. Um, can I say something, please? I know that it's not. Because then I need. No, you cannot. No, I, can, I will not allow you on my platform to say something that I know is scripturally, theologically incorrect. I will not allow it. No, it, it's I not will, regarding that, Kevin. It's then what is it regarding, ma'am? Because we're only talking. Is it something in the chat yeah, room? I'm, I'm just looking. Yeah. I don't want to um, hear the chat room, ma'am. I want to talk to you. I was thinking okay, ma'am. I don't. So, OK, you, you, this is bullshit. Look, lady. I am trying to be nice. I'm trying to be, oh, she is, she is, she's out of it. Look, I'm trying to be nice to you, but I've already told her what the problem is going to be. Ladies, when you call into my show, I don't care about the chat room. I'm running this show and there are 40, 4,400 people watching and I'm not looking in the chat room. Stop worrying about what people in the chat room are saying and have a conversation with me. But again, you get women who are on in no man's land. That's the other side of danger zone. You get women in the, uh, on the other side of danger zone. That's no man's land. And I cannot allow you to talk about this. God's going to send you and pray for him to send you the right person. You that's not what the God is not. God is not Santa Claus. Now, I'll ask you to unmute yourself if you're willing to have the conversation with me and not worry about what's going on in the chat room. 
Can you do that? Okay. Yes. That's the, what I see. I tried to avoid this. That's why I told you to get off speaker. Because when I started talking, you could not hear me. Then you're in the chat room. Talk to me about what you have to. And as a woman who does. Uh, the reason I'm also pushing back is you say your man was not your husband was not high value. Financially, yeah. then what okay. do you then what do you have to give on the subject? Well, I'm I'm basically when it comes to what I'm capable of giving I, that's one, you already disqualified that. Another aspect is being supportive of him, um, his dreams, his goals, his needs. Okay. Another, uh, another one. But you have to, but here's, him. you have to, but you, before you can do all that, ma'am, is you have to be found. How tall are you? I'm five feet five. Uh, and what dress size do you wear? Between two and four, depending on the brand. Okay. And how much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? 120. Okay. But you have a 20 year old and a 15 year old and you're in the Bahamas. Um, yes. At 36 years old, you're closer to 40 than you are closer to 30. Yes. I have to ask you a practical question. Yes, that's fine. Why do you need a high value man? I need a high value man because in the past, me considering my contributions in relationships i gave a lot and i am deserving let me stop let me stop no 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 in your past relationship has nothing to mm -hmm. do with the next man that's like asking another man to pay for another man's bill and you say you're deserving because of what because okay i made choices in the past i don't want to bring up my past but i made choices in the past to date people that were not high value and in doing so you know sometimes you understand your worth more when you deal with somebody who is not of your value so you know what you're not going to tolerate anymore in life or relationship and it gives you an understanding of what you are most compatible with Hadouken! That's, I'm, I'm all right ma'am again that. basically Another woman who thinks she's entitled to a, deserves a high value man because of mistakes you made with other men. But what you have not said is, what, oh, listen, mm -hmm. I let you speak. Okay. Do you personally know any high value men that are interested in you romantically? Yes, I do. That are interested in you for a wife? Yes, I do. Are you actively engaged with these men? I am talking to them, yes. How long have you, is this more than one man? Yes, two. Two men. How long have you known each man? One, I've known him for about a year. And the, the other, mm -hmm, and the, other, the other six months. And you've known them for a year and six months. Have you guys, gone, have you guys dated? Um, well, I was grieving at, after I met them. The guy who I was last dating, he passed away last year. So your husband passed away and a guy you dated passed away? Yes. And you have two men, one a year and one six months, and you say they're both interested in you in marriage, but you're not dating? No. Then, then ma'am, how can you say they're interested in you in marriage? Because, like... No, not because, ma'am. So what did they... No, 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 ma'am. Not because... If someone, okay, if you're not he, dating, he, listen, ma'am, if, if you're not dating someone, has a man said, hey, Crystal, I would like to marry you. No, he, none of them has said that. Then they can't say they're in, then ma'am, at 36, you cannot say they're interested in you in marriage. They might be marriage minded, but not specifically for you. Again, black women, you often do this. You often lie to yourself or make up stories about something that's not there. You cannot have, you, that would be like saying, Crystal's interested in marrying me and we ain't even get on a date yet. If a man said that, he'd be what? Lying. He'd be delusional. Mm -hmm. 
And see, at 36, so and, and at 36 so years old, man, what you, at 36 years old, what you're basically trying to say to me is, I'm a nice woman. I'm a Christian woman. I've had, I've been married. My my husband's gone on to glory. Unfortunately, another guy dated, transitioned, but I made choices in my past and dealt with guys that I don't feel like were on my level. And now I'm not willing to settle for anything less than what I believe I deserve. Fine. But here's the problem. You're 36 and in no man's land with two children and you're not, and you got a 21 year old's mindset and a nearly 41, another 40 year old's body. You cannot demand the same thing you did when you were 20 with no children. You don't need a, how do, listen, how do I have listen, a body? Uh, uh, well, you cannot have a 20 year old's body because you're a 36 year old. It's mathematically impossible. Do I look my age? Again, black women do this. Black don't crack, whatever. You are almost 40. It doesn't matter. You have old eggs. Do you, can you, if you had a birth, if you got pregnant right now, would it be high risk? I don't know. I if you, uh, yeah. What, what age is high risk pregnant? <laughs> Guys, remember the laughter is always a tell. See, when you start getting close to the truth, even an uncomfortable truth, instead of women just saying, you know what? That's right. They get defensive. Here's the defensiveness. Ma'am, you're 36 and I said you don't have a 20-year-old's body. You know that's true. It's not an insult. It's just a statement of fact. When I ask you if you got pregnant today, would it be high risk? High risk pregnancy starts at 35. You know that's true. And you say, I don't know. This is why men get tired of listening to ladies like yourself because even the ones that seem to be so soft and so well-meaning are still on some of that BS. Ma'am, I asked you why do you need a high-value man? And the reason, and you haven't answered the question, you want it because of the lifestyle. And that's fine. Just say, I want a high value lifestyle. I don't want to live like this. I'd rather have more money, more things to do. And I don't make the kind of money to do that. I want somebody to pay for it. I could at least respect that. I don't, I, I, I can't say that that's why I want it because I've always. Then, then go get it. Then, then would you accept a man who's making, uh, do you work? Yes, I do. And uh, are you a middle class, middle income person? Would you consider middle? I, whatever the United States does, do you make more than fifty thousand dollars a year? Almost that amount. Okay. Would you be all right with a man making almost that amount? No, I wouldn't. Exactly. 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 <sighs> there you go, gentlemen. Another woman. Who wants more? I told you, Anthony Perkins, this is why I don't talk about regular guys, because even women in her position want men making more than her. She's she'll, she's closer to 40 than 30, 36, and she still wants a man earning more. Ma'am, I get that you want that, but you're shooting outside of your looks league. And it doesn't matter if you are 36 and you look like you're 20, you're 36. And men who have high value money don't pick 36 year olds when they can get 25 year olds. You got to accept this, ma'am, or die alone. I am not, I'm not refuting what you're saying. You're not what? I'm, 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 I'm not like arguing with what you're saying. Like, I, but I'm, what, what I'm saying is you got a 20 year old kid, he doesn't need the resources, and a 15 year old kid. You don't need a high value man. All you need is a man. But you want a rich man. You don't need one. And you're not, and no offense, ma'am, but what would you classify, what would you say you, you rank on the look scale from one to 10? You can't use seven. <laughs> I, I, the laugh, I gentlemen, six. maybe six. Exactly. Why would a high value man who can afford eights, nines, and tens Get a 36-year-old six. Because not every high-value man looks like that. Yes, so they well. freaking do. Not every high-value exactly. man. Exactly. Exactly. Spoken, like, spoken by the woman who does not even have one, but you said two of them want to marry you and you ain't went on a date with them.
Line him up. Knock him down. Are you kidding me? Came in there with that Christian feminist. God going to sin. God ain't got nothing to do with this. God told you, make a decision. She don't want a man making what she's making. And I'm going to tell you, the woman was average looking at best. And she had really short hair. Cisco short. She be arguing with you for your wave cap. She be asking you to hit up with that do rag, and then had that purple glitter around here. You know, I'm, uh, ma'am, far out of your league. See, men get to hear rejection all the time. Women, you guys don't deal with rejection very well. Hello, Amber. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Uh, how old are you? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me turn your microphone down because you awful kind of loud up in this mug. So what? Sorry. What, no problem. What up, dog? Iron right, shit. Uh, so what did I get wrong? Uh, I don't really think you got anything wrong. I just had a clear. I wanted to clarify something. Okay. Um. So I noticed that you tend to take the most issue with women who approach you and they say they want someone who will take them up take them out of work basically they'll take care of them and they don't have any idea of like how much that would cost them or how much they would have to work to get to that position so me personally i don't necessarily no i don't accept, i don't accept i don't accept that but go ahead and ask the question i don't accept that as a position that i have okay could you, what's i don't i don't have a position with any woman who wants something that's what you okay. want that's what you want i just ask you do you know what it's going to require to get it yeah. And then I yeah. and I do yeah. have a I do have an issue with somebody who wants a Mercedes and they got money for a bicycle. Right. That's reasonable. Right. right. But my question to that would be me personally, I don't necessarily want somebody to like take me out of the game. I don't see myself like necessarily ever not having an income. Like even if I were to have be with a man who makes five hundred thousand dollars a year, okay. I would still okay. be more comfortable. Okay, let me let me let me, just Okay, so. here's what I need to do. Turn off the YouTube channel, stop watching yourself. Because I'm getting uh, I'm getting okay. background noise. Is your YouTube channel on in the background? Uh my TV was on, but I don't Okay, have so TV. at twenty two years open. at twenty two years old, do you want to get married? Yes. Do you want to how many children do you want? I want to have like eight kids. I want to, I love kids. Eight children? Yeah, I just want to keep you know Kiki Wyatt? I want to do what she's doing. Uh, uh okay. Kiki who? Kiki Wyatt? Yeah. The singer? Uh-huh. And who yeah, and who she she, and who's she married to? I'm not sure. Right. But you want eight children. How much does it cost to raise the average child in the United States of America? Uh, I think it was two hundred. It was either two hundred thousand or two twenty thousand dollars. Excuse me. It was either two hundred thousand dollars, like throughout their lifetimes, or like twenty thousand. It was like, in that two range. Right, and um, right, two hundred thousand dollars. So you want one point six million dollars in children. That's what you want. Eight children times two two hundred thousand is one point six million dollars. Uh, what do you do for a living? I am a microbiologist. So you're broke. I wouldn't consider that. Okay. What do you? Who do you work for? Uh, I work for a pharmaceutical company. How much do you? How much do you make annually? I make fifty thousand dollars a year. Where do you live? At the moment. What city? St. Louis. St. Louis. Okay. You're not broke. Uh, you're middle class. Yeah. Um, at fifty thousand dollars a year, can you afford one child? Yes. You can afford one child at fifty thousand. Can you afford two? Probably no. All right. And but in affording no. one child, could you afford? Would you have a home or an apartment? With one child mm -hmm. on fifty thousand, I would more than likely have an apartment. Right. And is that a is that how we think we should be raising kids? No. So let me go. Not... We're gonna keep on moving, ma'am. Fifty thousand dollars is enough for one woman to live a single young woman's life in an apartment, mm -hmm. but it's not enough to live a successful life where you can buy a home, 
travel, have savings, have insurance, have life in, have investments, have life insurance, have all the things that get people out of uh, paycheck to paycheck and lead to a generational wealth. Eight children, you would need a man making how much money annually? You said Eight. one point at least. One no, point. no, no, no. In order to have in order to have three children, you need a guy making around three hundred fifty thousand. So you need to have a man as a million dollars for eight children at that, 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 this, this, the numbers. Well, even if you trimmed it back in St. Louis, there's a, there's a, that's not, it's not mathematically directional proportional. So closer to around $800,000 to make sure that every child has their room. Every kid, when they turn 16, would have access to a car or a vehicle. Even if there's some overlap, every child could go to college of their choice if they wanted to. The daughters could have their weddings paid for. The kids could have some sort of starter fund, such and so forth. Will you ever make that kind of money in your lifetime with a microbiology degree? No, not right. by myself. So how tall are you? 5'7". Dress size? I'm size 6. How much did you weigh last time you weighed yourself? 148. Mm -hmm. 148. Right. And what would you give yourself on a look scale? One to 10, zero to 10, you cannot use seven. I guess it should give me an, an adjustable six. I can be really pretty and I can be really bummy. When was the last time you wore your hair? Mm, last month. Uh, if you took, is that a wig or is that? This is a weave, yeah. Okay. How long is your hair? It's about right here when it's straightened, but I have 4C hair. So when it's condensed, it's so, like up here. So why would you not wear your hair if it's shoulder length when straightened? I just prefer to wear longer hair. Yeah, but most high value men don't like women with weave. Mm -hmm. So in St. Louis, how many men are running around? Do you want a black man or do you care? I prefer a black man. So how many near millionaire black men are running around St. Louis? None that I know of. Right. Yeah. But um, I was saying, um, to go back to, not to negate what you were saying, but I was just asking me personally, I don't, just off the idea of like somebody having, the idea of somebody having like all of the burden on them, I would prefer to still have an income just to help my man or. Yeah, ma'am. Let me just go ahead and knock this out. Kiki Wyatt, this woman with, Children, how many kids do you say she has? I think she just had mm -hmm. her I believe. She's married in 2010 to Michael Jamar. Michael Ford, the ordained minister. The Wyatt family reality show has 2013, as of 2013, they had six children by three. Uh by her first. So she got three different baby daddies, actually four now. Four different baby daddies. Now I gotta ask you. This is the woman you said you like what she's doing. Oh, I didn't say it in that context. No, 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 no. You liked her children, right? Yeah, I like that she. But but does but that's what you kids. put out there. But why do you look up to a woman with eight children by multiple men? Well, me personally, I love kids. I okay, but I but but ma'am, why not okay. just say you looked up to uh, oh, Claire Huxtable? She had them all with her with her husband. Why would you look up to a woman with eight children by all these men on a reality show? I might have used a bad example. I do apologize. Uh, no, I'm that no, it's not. It's right. It's kind of right in line. It's kind of right in line with what you're talking about. You're in a fantasy world. Mm -hmm. You're a microbiologist. You're a cute girl. You're making average money living in St. Louis. And you're running around here talking about Eight hundred eight eight children, and no, where in the world? And you're how old again? Twenty two. What's the longest relationship you've had? Um, two and a half years. How long ago was that? That ended in December of the last year. Right. And why didn't you guys get married? Uh, we had uh some drama, uh -huh. outside drama that kind of just made us. Okay. Have you have no children life. though, right? No, no, we didn't have any kids. Okay. Do you is your father in your life? Yes. Was, was he? Were your mother and father married? Yes. Okay, ma'am. I'm going to suggest. Um, are you are you close to your dad? Yes. Does he help you uh, vet and sort through the men you deal with? No, he. Well, that's a problem. Because if you get with a guy for two and a half years, 
and you picked him. You're 22. You don't have a lot of time to keep playing around. You need to actually get your feet on the ground, get realistic about who you are, what's available to you out here, and make a decision. Because when I hear a woman talking about reality TV stars and kids and all this other kind of stuff, and you're not even, you're, you're, it sounds like you're still playing with Barbies. And this is why so many of our sisters get stuck. You keep doing this. We're going to look up in six or seven years from now, you're going to be one of these eternal sevens that keep calling into my show, angry that they can't find a man and ask him, why did you lose? Did you have had a man in the back and something was wrong? Was he in college too? The guy you were with? He already graduated by the time we met. Okay. So what's he doing with his life? He's a project manager. So why He's... was, did he, who broke up with who? It was a mutual agreement. There's no mutual agreement, ma'am. That's bullshit. That means you broke up with him. It was. There's no mutual was, stuff. There's nothing that happens that way in the real life. You know what? We just, there's somebody who precipitates it. I don't care, ma'am. Just be realistic. Do you still communicate with him? Yes. yes. How long ago did you guys break up? December. It was December. When was the last so, time you had sex? Since April. So Right. So you, you had sex after the breakup. Yeah. Get some counseling. Go get your man back. Go live a life. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to leave it right there, man. I'm tired of seeing our young ladies just throw stuff away. Somebody could deal with it you for two and a half years again what do i say so many of our young women need to get off of social media kiki wide it or whatever what are we talking about here see like i said you may not like my approach but but where else where can you go where else are you gonna go to hear somebody tell you something that's close to being realistic ladies and I love it when you say, oh, well, you're just too harsh. You're too mean. OK, see, there are plenty of men who would sit back and tell you, oh, go live your best life. Your, your man's going to come along and and Boaz is going to find you. Uh huh. I'm not going to tell you that because that's not realistic. That's not how life works. I'm going to leave the line open because understand something. Far too many women want high value men. And what you're really saying is I want your I want the lifestyle your money can afford me. But yet, I'm not willing to do whatever. I'm not willing to even understand who you are. See, that's what I think is most interesting. The, the, that the people, the women who complain about my platform, and there are some, they complain about the way you talk to women, what you say to women, because I tell women the truth that high value men want them to know. But see, they don't seem to have any problem with for all you women who want to tell me that the way you speak to women, you don't seem to have any problem with these women wanting to use high value men. You see, I hear women talking about there's a woman on the other end and a woman, her feelings and a woman. What about the men's feelings? What about what the men want? These men have to go out in the world and make something of themselves. And do you think these men want to just sit around and be used by women who have no idea what they want or nothing? 36 years old and I deserve it. We have done a job on our women. You don't deserve anything. You earn it. Let me let this make this clear, black women. 51% of black men in the United States of America are single and childless. Blackdemographics.com. Go look for it yourself. Black statistics by black people for black people. 64% of black men are in the middle class. There are plenty of single middle class, unmarried and childless black men. Despite all the in jail, DL or whatever, plenty of them. But do you want them? Do you want them? And then we sit around, you know, talking about you deserve this, you deserve that. It's about work. 
If every black man in this country married a black woman tomorrow, there'd be still be 2 million more black women that are single. This is blood sport, ladies. I'm telling you, if no one else told you, they've told you what you want to hear. You're a queen, you're this, you're that, you're fabulous. Just sit and wait. I'm telling you right now, the ho your house is on fire and it's burning down. You better get competitive right now. You better get competitive and work because black men, this is really going to tick you off. Black men are your only real option. Oh, snap. Black men are your only real option. Because people of a race tend to marry of their same race. That's like saying Chinese men are Chinese women's only real option. Mexican men are Mexican women's only real option. Yes, there are people that marry out, but it still never has gotten past 51%. The most you have is white men with Asian women, and that's still trickling towards 20 the majority of people marry their race. So knock it off thinking you can go get Brad. Knock it off thinking you can go get Lee. Knock it off thinking you can go get Ahmed. Knock it off thinking you can go get Enrique. If you are lucky, you can get Keith. Keith, Kenneth, and another K name. Black men. And you heard that woman, 36 years old. With men dying around her left and right, I wouldn't want to date you because I'd be afraid I'd be next. That woman said, an average looking woman, average, said she would not want an average earning black man. Damn, that's messed up. But I'm harsh. You need to connect your microphone. They over here in the dark somewhere. Again, the first young lady that called, she was a cute. She was fit. But in no way, when I say, ma'am, you're at the top, you're, you're not a top 20% woman, looks wise. So being able to demand a top 10% man, nope, it's not realistic. And, and here's the funny thing, for people who don't like it, I always ask the question, what is your life showing you? Well, it could happen. Sure, it could. Unmute yourself, please. Hello? Hello? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I clicked on it by accident. Do what um, now? I said I clicked on the mute button by accident. No, I had you are always muted when you uh, tune in over here. Okay, what I need you to do, what I need you to do, is, uh -huh. uh, are you on a headset? Yes, I am. I need you to be still. Stop walking around because whatever you're doing is making clicking noises. Oh wow, it's very sensitive. Okay, just a moment. Sorry. It's still making clicking noises. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm going to mute you if you don't take that headset off. Oh, okay. Got it. Just a second. Can you hear me now? I can. All right. I'll, next thing I need you to do is I need to make sure you're not on YouTube or in the comment section. No, I don't. I'm not because okay. I'm on my cell phone. Cool. Okay, great. And your first name is? Yes. It's G. Uh, what? Uh, G. G. I, As it, how do you spell it? Yes, I, it's for Julia. Julia? Yes. What do you have for me, Julia? Well, um, I actually just had a question. Um, I just wanted your opinion on a current situation that I'm in right now. Is this um, about, is it on the topic? I, I'm sorry? Is it on the topic? Um, yeah, basically of what women are willing to do for, or, or what they feel that they should contribute um for have you been watching the entire show high value partner. i'm sorry have you been watching the entire show uh, i've been watching part of it I'm... okay 
Go ahead. Yes. I, Go ahead. Okay. Uh, just a minute. I'm sorry. I'm my phone is acting up a little bit. Okay. Um, so my question is, um, there is someone that I am actually seeing. Um, I would consider him to be a uh, high value. How old um, is he? But he's uh, 40. How old are you? I'm, I'm 39. What do you do for a living? I'm a teacher. What does he do? He is a public speaker. Okay. How many children do you have? I don't have any children. Okay. Go ahead. Um, so I guess uh, it's a little bit of a challenge because he lives very far away. Really? Um, Where do you live? I'm, I, I'm in California. Okay. And he's in, is and he in the States? He is, he's in the States, yes. Hmm. He's in um, Massachusetts. All right. How tall are you? Yeah. I'm 5'2". Dress size? I would say like a six. <laughs> How much did you weigh at your last weigh-in? Uh, I'm I'm a little on the heavy side. I'm about 160. You're not a zero size six. I saw your picture. I saw your. Oh, you did. Oh yeah. What? I saw your face when you came in. So, please don't lie to me. Oh, okay. Um, I, I mean, but the thing is. No, ma'am. No, no, I no, no. I'm... See, here's the thing. If you're gonna lie to me, why should I help you? Oh, I didn't know I had a picture on there. But that's the beauty of this. If you were telling the <laughs> truth, it wouldn't matter one way or another. See, too okay. many of you women just walk around lying um, and then you want somebody to help you and tell you the truth. I just asked you your height, weight, and dress size. You're 5'2", mm -hmm. two, right? Right. And you say your dress size, what? Well, I'm I'm petite, so... What I'm dress gonna... size do you wear? I, what did you say? six. Yeah. What'd you say? Six? This is, yeah, uh -huh. this is six. And what do I do for a living? And what do I work for? And what do I do for a living? Oh, I'm an image God. consultant, so you can't lie to me about height, weight, and dress size. I can look at people at a glance and kind of understand where they're at. And all I'm asking you is to tell me the truth so I can help you if I can. You're okay. not a dress size. Well, you're, you're not. Okay. Go ahead, ma'am. No, I'm listening. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Well, the question is, is um, I guess is, I guess I'm trying to say is like I'm trying to figure out like what would be the best way to make something work that is long distance um, because it is so far. How much does he earn as a personal corona. speaker? How much does he earn as a public? How much does he earn? Uh, <laughs> I would say about a hundred thousand a year. So. Why would he want to skip over the entire country to go to California to get a 40 year old woman who's 160 pounds? Well, I mean, because we're Again, basically I need on, you to, on the same I need page. you to understand something. You'd even think about my question. You just, you, what did I ask you? You said, why would he want to skip over the country for someone who is 40? That's not, basically. That's not basically. See, what I'm showing you guys is women don't listen. They listen with their feelings. And so they over, they miss key things. So this is why I'm always very direct. I said, why would he want to fly over an entire country and deal with a woman who's nearly 40 and 160 pounds? That's relevant. You said that's irrelevant. I said that's relevant. You're asking oh. me how you what land him, how you get him to do what? What do you want him to do? Well, I mean, what do you want him I to do? Just get to the point. Long what term. do you want him to do? You want something long term? You want him to propose marriage? What do you want? Yes, I do. You do? How long have you guys been dating? I do. Um, well, th that's the thing. We're we're still in the the beginning stages. No. We haven't known each other for very long. Okay, so you're in fantasy land too, and you're too old for this. You're in fantasy land too. You're 40 years old with no children mm -hmm. and you sound like a 16 year old. That guy's in Massachusetts. You're in California. And a hundred thousand dollars ain't a lot of money in, in Massachusetts and California. You're not even dating. Are you guys just, did you guys meet online on a dating app? No, actually we met through a mutual friend. Uh, fine. 
Have you guys been on one date yet? Oh, uh, we have, yes. Have you been on two dates? No, it's it's because of the distance. All right. Corona. So you mean you want a guy that you've only been on one date? Where'd you go on your date? Oh, we went out to eat. Where? Um, at with Chris. Okay. So a guy you went on one date with, you want him to propose marriage. Why? No, not right now. No. Well, I mean, well whatever. I you want to... you that's what man, that's on tape. It's it's recorded. That's what you want to end up getting to. Serious relationship. Yeah, definitely. So don't yes, so don't I play do. with me. Why? Why do you want this guy to propose marriage to you after one date at Ruth Chris? Be well, not after one date. I mean, eventually, because I I like but the, but beatbox is like rocking. Why do you want a man that you've gone out with once and you're still getting to know to propose marriage to you? Okay, let, let me rephrase it. I would like to get to know you better, so that it, so that if it's something that we're compatible. No, so in other way, in so other words, forward. in other words, I have no prospects around here. Well, I mean, I have no prospects around for, here. No. I, oh, so an entire. So, what part of California do you live in? Um, I live closer to. Um, Lady, San Diego. It's closer to San Diego. You're in San Diego yeah. metropolitan area? Uh, yes. So, I'll, and what part of Boston? And he's in Boston? Mm-hmm. So, an entire freaking country, and you're in San Diego, where there's some of the most successful, some of the best looking people in the world. You don't have any prospects around there to where you got to fantasize about a, a dude all the way in Boston and how to make him propose marriage. Ma'am, stop watching rom-coms. You're too old for this. <laughs> I actually don't watch Stop rom -coms. watching. Okay, whatever, ma'am. Why don't you have a man in San Diego? How long have you lived in California? Because. Why, how long well, have you lived in California? That long. How long have you lived in California? I haven't been here that long. How long have you lived in California? About three months. Okay, where were you um, at before that? I, I met where were you at before that? Friend. Where were you at before that? I was in uh, Florida. Where? Florida. Florida? Mm-hmm. What part of Florida? Um, in Dade County. Dade County? Mm-hmm. You mean Miami? Yes. Okay. Why do some of y'all, women like to be so deceptive? How long were you there? Um, I would say about mm, 10 years. 10 years. Why didn't you have a husband in Florida? One of the well, best, well, excuse like me, in Miami, Florida, lots of high value men there. But you got to be hot. Yeah, that is true. Um, so, in other words, when you're in Miami, in Dade, in Dade County, Miami, Florida, for 10 years, you didn't even have a man there. When was the last relationship you had? It was about two and a half years ago. How long did it last? Three years. Why didn't that man propose to you? He was deceptive. He told me he had a position. He was deceptive. So, he was deceptive. Oh, no, 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 don't give me. So, two and a half years ago, and it was three years. So, you were 33. 33. Yeah. Okay. And you start dating him when you were 30? Yeah. Okay. So he was deceptive from age at age 30? Yes. Okay. So from the day one you met him, he lied? He did. I okay. From day one you met him, he lied, but you stayed there for three and a half years. Well, um. Well, um, he, he lied for three a and a half. Situation. He lied for three and a half years. He did. We were actually engaged. Okay. And I didn't find out everything I needed. What didn't you need? What did? What did you? Engagement. What did you not? What did you not find? What did? It, what was the the straw that broke the back? Cause wait a minute, you're engaged. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were. Okay. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Where did he propose? Uh, he proposed to me at a park. Okay. And he actually, you had an engagement ring. Yes, I do. Uh, and you guys were planning a wedding. Yeah. And then you called off the engagement because. Because I found out that I did, I didn't vet him properly. And, yeah, ma'am, um, you called off the engagement. Three years, ma'am. Come on, three and a half years. You know that like they're saying two or three months. He basically lied about what he did for a living. For three and, and a half he years, was involved in things. For three and a half that, years. Mm -hmm. All right. Did was it a nice ring? It was a beautiful ring. All I right, still have it. I tried to give it back. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah. What did he say he did? He told me that he was in the medical field. and He, he was, was in what? The medical field. What does that mean? Medical sales. All right. And what did he do for a living? 
he was into illegal activities. What did he do? Um, he was selling and embezzling and what did he do? Uh, embezzling company funds and things of that nature. Is he in jail? Um, no. Um, they I found Is out. he in jail? No, he's not. Is he going to jail? <laughs> You should. Is he going to jail? <laughs> Did the company go after him? Um, what, partially. No, no, okay, see, what involved. do you do for a living? I'm a teacher. You're a teacher, so you're a, you're not a high earning person. No, you got no kids. So what are you worried about? If he's a fucking medical salesperson, or if he just makes the same money, he proposed to you and gave you a ring. Three years into a relationship, you broke up with him because he was lying about what he did. Did he make more than you? No, he didn't, actually. All right, then. And do you still have the ring? Mm-hmm. Why? Because he didn't want it back. <sighs> I tried to give it back. Try. Do you know where he lived? <laughs> yeah. Did you stick it in the mailbox? Not your ring. An engagement ring is a conditional gift. Given on the condition of a marriage. Did your marriage happen? No. Then it's his ring. Give happened. him his ring back, especially and if it's such I a beautiful him. ring. Yeah, see, well, see what I'm telling you, ma'am, what I'm him. telling you, ma'am, is there's all, again, another one of you deceptive, deceptive kind of women. There's always something wrong with men, something shady with men. Lady, you need therapy. You need therapy because if you were with a guy for three and a half years and all of a sudden at the end, it all fell apart because he at least he wasn't whooping your butt like most stories go. Now he's That's in. Uh, what's with then I'm telling uh, you. Right yeah, now. right. Of course. Oh. That's right. Mm hmm. At least he wasn't whooping your butt like most of these stories go. See, it's always the men are just so jacked up and they're just so innocent. I was teaching the little blind kittens how to read in Miami, Dade County. And for three and a half years, I was just being deceived. And then uh, he proposed to me in a park with a lovely ring. And then I found out that he was embezzling and into corporate espionage. But the company never pursued it and he didn't go to jail. So my story really is not verifiable. But then I go to San Diego and I want a guy that I've had one dinner with and to prep him for marriage. Brother, run. Women like this, there's a reason they're single. Because she started off with a lie. You can go ahead and unmute yourself. But you're not going to under talk me. Unmute yourself. See, you got folks like this who are like, ah, I just want your advice. My advice is the guy's lucky. She kept the ring. She kept the ring too, guys. Remember that. So bad with him and da 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 da. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> exactly. You know how you can read these people? Because they're trying to be so damn slick. What's your name? G. G, short for what? Julia. Julia starts with a J. My name is G. And she don't want to unmute. She's running now. Come on. Finish out the lies. Did he propose to you a papa though? In the middle of a pandemic? <laughs> oh, and they sitting around when they get caught to be like, Oh, dang. <laughs> they just be pissed when they get caught. No, thank Kevin, you so much, God Mr. Daniels. It. God bless. No, 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 no. You're not think She's like, oh, well, I don't, I don't know how this all happened. I don't know how it Kevin, all happened. Kevin, God damn it. Yeah, go ahead and unmute yourself because you mute. She muted herself back again, too, guys. And the reason I do this is because I keep telling you, ladies, women, the platforms you go to with women, women are never going to push and ask for the difficult questions. Ma'am, look, yeah, I will so tell you I'm this way. Here. I will tell you that. Yeah, you were muted. And I kept asking you to I mute. Can, Be quiet, you, please. Don't under, don't over talk me. So look here. You won't over talk me. They won't work. It won't work. It won't work. It won't work. You started this whole thing off with a lie. You start off by lying about your looks. You lied about your name. 
G, but you say your name is Juliet. Juliet starts with a J in this country. And I need you to ask yourself a question. People who think I'm harsh, what kind of reward are women like this to any kind of man, much less the high value man? Did anybody believe any of her story? That's why I say so much therapy is needed. The longer people stay detached from relationships, the more they get into their own head. One dated Ruth Chris. And she wants to be Mrs. Henry. But yet she was with a guy for three and a half years. And when asked why he didn't marry, well, he was deceptive all the time. You can't make this stuff up. You just can't. So I will take any of my detractors, any of the naysayers to task and say, you know, just like I do, if they were on your platform where you're trying to tell them what they want to hear and you could be feminine and just sit here and be proper and smile. You don't ask any of these questions. You don't push. You don't get to the truth of something and you don't have men over there saying, yeah, he's right. I don't want this. And again, these women look down on average men. This woman is a teacher. How many teachers are balling out of control? And I saw what she looked like. I'm, I'm not even putting them on. There's no need to even put people, women on camera. There's enough track record to know that I know what I'm talking about. There's no need to put women on camera. Stop telling lies, ladies. But you can go ahead and t get the last word in. She can't. She's she's just flustered over there. Phone on muted. Well, hello. Yep. Hi. Okay. Um, <laughs> I really don't know what to say because. Um, well, first off, I you just, can say I, you can say I, this, ma'am. You can say this. You can say this. You can say this. You started off being deceptive with me. You started off. In what way? Uh, first off, your name is G, but your name is Juliet. G is for short. That's my no, name. No, no. The G is for so short. Juliet starts name. with a what, ma'am? Well, that's what they call me. Right, right. Well, I, I tell you <laughs> what I call you. And then I asked fine. you about you your. I asked Juliet. you about your you height. Like G, I asked. Fine. Are you still over talking me? I asked you about your height. It's five two. Uh, and I asked you about your look here, lady. I'm gonna try to be helpful. You. you, if I were you, okay. you should need some therapy. Mm -hmm. You need therapy. There's something going on with you that just go get a clean bill of health. If you're 39 years old and you are still at this ineffective of a state at picking men, the only common denominator is you. All kind of deception has been uh, pulled out in this conversation. And here's the thing. The open dating market is brutal. No one owes you understanding. If you couldn't find a man in Miami, you can't find a man in San Diego. You're the same person everywhere you go. Again, comes back down to the same old, same old. It's always on the men. The men is always criminal. Either they butt whooping or they embezzling or something. It can't never be just, you know what? Something just ain't right with me. Always got to be the men. So I get it. Other platforms will tell you what you want to hear. I just look at what you say. But I also say what happens too. I get more women calling in saying, thank you. Thank you for saying this. I didn't like what you said. You're not weren't, but it helped me open my eyes. Every morning I wake up, emails, inboxes, DMs from women saying thank you. The comment section, women saying thank you. So I will take the the hundreds of women that are saying thank you versus the handful of women that are, you sick, you're crazy. That's right. 
Go be the queens you are. Go hear all that fluff you want to hear. But this week, we're getting into it. And Wednesday night is going to be an epic show. You want to be here Wednesday night. Oh, you want to be here Wednesday at 10 o'clock. The show is going to be the show of the week. Get your popcorn, get your Xanax, get your popcorn, your Xanax, your bottle of wine. Oh, yeah. Yep. We got it going. But until then, we got to get up out of here. Peace. We are gone. Olivia, nope. Join me on Patreon for videos you will only see there. Didn't have my Patreon stream today. It'll be tomorrow. Or actually Wednesday. 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. Join me on IG for videos you will only see in the frat room. When they're up, they're up. When they're gone, they are gone. your show ideas to info at buykevinsamuels.com or go to buykevinsamuels.com to book your one-on-one advice line, corporate or career advice, your interpersonal communication, or even better, the virtual console. I want to know where I rank out here, what I look like. Help me try to find my best thing for me. That's all considered to be in the virtual console or you can't find it there, just go to Billable hours customized session for so respect my inbox. Also, watch the video I uploaded today. Shout out to the people over at Fawcett Media for the intro and the outro. Still open bidding for video editor for a full time job to edit my videos, trailers here, music, all that good stuff. What I need you to do is submit your work to info at bykevinsamage.com. It will be better. You go and take a snippet of my own work and show me what you can do. That's the best way to get it done, guys. Show your work. So to ask me to go through your catalog, as soon as I know what it looks like, tell me what you can do. Get on down a bit.